Hello everyone, this is Sudipto from Technical Potpourri and welcome to my new video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a powerful feature which came up recently in Summer 24 Salesforce release. And with this powerful feature, you have the ability to update records using external ID in the REST API. Before, it was not possible, you can only do the upsort. Like if the record is present, it's going to update. If the record is not present, it's going to create the new record. But now you have the permission, you have the ability to not only update the record, but at the same time, if the record is not present, do not allow the process to create a new record. Just only update the record. Let's see this powerful feature in action. So here I am in my Salesforce org and what I have done as a prerequisite, I have created an external ID field in my account object. As you can see in the screen, field level is external ID and it's, it's basically an external ID field, which I have mentioned inside the data type. Now going back to my all accounts list view, there are a couple of there are already a couple of accounts already being present in my org. So let's open this Burlington account. And inside this Burlington account, what I have done, I have populated this external ID field with some value, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So with this external ID field populated, what I want to do, I want to call this REST API and using this new feature, what I want to do, if the record present with this external ID field, then update the record. If the record not present with this particular external ID value, then do not take any action. So before this summer 24 release or before this uh, API version of 61, it was basically an upsert option. And what is upsert? Upsert is basically if the record found, then update the record. If the record is not found, then create the new record. Mm, so let's see how it will behave with this new uh, parameter. So for that, let me go back, let me open my Postman. So here I am inside my Postman. Postman is a very easy to use user interface to connect with, with your multiple environments and then do all sort of a, uh, API transaction, API testing or API work. I have already shared a video where I've shown you how you can connect your Postman with your Salesforce or if you haven't checked that video or if you don't know how to do that, I highly recommend that you quickly go to this video and check and connect your Postman with your Salesforce org so that you can proceed in this video. I'll put the link of that video in the description as well as on the top right corner. So if you want, you can quickly go and check that video. But let's assume that your postman is already connected to your Salesforce org. With that, here I am in my in the window where I will do the API call. So it's going to be a patch call. And here is the endpoint. Endpoint is basically, it's a variable, all the double bracket things basically a variable inside Postman. So this endpoint value is basically my, my Salesforce org URL. It's going to be call services data v and version. Version is going to be the 61. That's the version where this new parameter is being introduced. It's calling a subject. A subject name is basically a path variable where I've given the subject name as account. Then external ID is basically the new field that I've created. For example, uh, if I show you, uh, this is a new field and this is a field name. So I'm going to pass that field name here. And the record ID is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically what I'm trying to do, I'm going to do a patch call, patch uh, REST API call, where I'm passing the external ID value as this. And I'm telling this API that if the record is found, then do the update. If the record is not found, then create the new record because it's basically an upsert option. What I need to pass here, if the record is found, what is going to update, what update it is going to perform or not found, then it's going to create a new record with what values. So for that, in the body, I'm providing the name as Burlington, this, this, this. Active value is another custom field which I'm providing as no. And account number, let's put a different account number as let's say 8963. Currently, if I go to the Burlington, the account number is this. But I'm going to pass a new different account number. And if I go here, the external, the external ID value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is matching this one. So let's execute this. If I execute this function, what it is telling in the result, it's telling it has not created a new record, but it has updated the existing record. Means it has, this process found a record, existing record with this value. So now if I go back and refresh this page, I'll see that the account number has changed 6869863, whatever val the value that I've provided here. So it is working because the record is present. 
Now let's say the record is not present. So for that, let's put a extra ID field which is not present. I know one one one. This extra ID I know definitely not present. So now if I execute the same call again. It is telling this time previously it was created false, but this time it is telling created true. It means it has created a new record. So now if I go back to my accounts, I can see there are two account records being created. If I open this one is basically the new account record with this account number and external ID this. So this is what this call is doing. Basically, it's basically doing an absurd operation. If the record found, update the record. If the record not found, create the new record. Now, what is being introduced as part of Summer 24 is basically with the same call, you can pass a parameter. And with that parameter, what it will do, it will, if the record is not found, it's not going to create a new record. It will just say like record is not found and stop the process. But if the record is found, it's going to create the record. So for that, the parameter that we need to pass is, is present in the documentation, which I'll, which the link again I'll put in the description, is basically question mark and update only cost to true. So if you copy that and put that as part of your URL, then let's say this record 111, I'm going to delete this record. So it means there is no account record present with the explanatory field as 111. So with this new parameter, if I execute the same call again, it's telling the requested resource does not exit, exist. So it means the process was trying to find a record with the record ID with the explanatory value as 111 and it failed. So it's not going to create a new record because my parameter is update only true. I want only to update. I don't want to create a new record. So let's choose a explanatory field which is present. For example, this one. Let's put that value here. And in the body, let's change the account number as A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now if I execute, it's telling that it has not created, but it has updated the existing record. So this is my existing record. So if I go and refresh the existing record, account and go to the little page i can see the account number is being updated so this is the new feature is basically preventing you to create a new record if the target record is not present but if the target record is present matching the external id field then it's going to update the existing record so this i think this feature is very powerful you don't need to do all sort of manual you know checking basically only this update only equals to true with this parameter you can only do the update not uh, create a new record. I hope this short video is helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like icon, share with your friends and colleagues so that they came to know about this new feature. And please provide your feedback. How do you like this video? How do you like this new feature? And finally, please subscribe to my channel so that you came to know about all my upcoming videos. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.